Good evening and welcome to Satsang. My name is Swami Jogananda and I'd like to especially welcome you if it's your first time. So, for the last few weeks, I have been completely consumed by Hatha Yoga. And I've been exploring its, uh, its relationship to Kashmir Shaivism, which says that everything is consciousness. So I've been looking at how the body is not just conscious, but it is consciousness. And I've been experimenting with ways of exploring asana and the anatomy of yoga, looking at the bones and the muscles and the different systems, and then finding how we can experience the aliveness in them. And then in finding that aliveness, finding the shakti and finding the self. You know, which then got me thinking back to how I first became a yoga teacher, which, uh, which was quite funny because, you see, I never actually wanted to be a yoga teacher. <laughs> In fact, I had no intention and no desire at all to become one. But the ashram had different ideas about that. <laughs> so, about 22 years ago, when I moved into the ashram, I was, you know, I'd tried uni and it was a bit depressing and there was a lot of ego and it was all a bit kind of more. And I was feeling pretty depressed. And, um, and my life really sort of lacked meaning. And I was terribly shy and terribly introverted. And I couldn't really talk to anyone. And I, I was like sort of in just this heavy, despairing feeling. And at that time, Devi Ma and Bhaktananda were teaching the yoga classes at the ashram. And I would attend. And during the classes and afterwards, I would feel better. And the feeling of depression and this kind of heavy feeling in my body would leave me. And I would sort of feel a little bit of grace, a little sparkle of being alive, you know, and that, that was really nice. <coughs> then at some point, Devi Ma decided that I should become a yoga teacher. <laughs> she said that this would help my communication and it would unlock my throat chakra so that I could speak. <laughs> so I was absolutely horrified by this <laughs> suggestion. This was just like the worst possible thing that could happen to me. So, you know, I kind of mumbled some kind of response and I said yes, of course, because, you know, you say yes to Devi Ma, especially when you're an ashramite. But, you know, inside I was like screaming out all the reasons why this was just a terrible idea, you know. I was too shy to speak, you know, people were going to look at me and then not only were they going to look at me, they were going to be looking at me while I was talking to them and then <laughs> when I was talking I had to make sense. You know, and so I had this endless list of tearing thoughts. So I went away to have a think about this. And so I didn't have a think about how to overcome the tearing thoughts. I had to think, how do I get out of this? <laughs> so, so I decided that Swamiji would be my way out. So I went to have a chat with him. And uh, unfortunately for me, he decided that becoming a yoga teacher was a really good idea. So I was really stuck now because I'd, I'd made this little internal promise to myself when I'd moved into the ashram that I would do the program for a year and I would just do it whatever it was. And then, you know, after a year I would check in and see if I felt better. And, you know, and the program had just become yoga teacher training. So I began very reluctantly demonstrating in Devi Ma's yoga classes. And uh, in fact, it was so reluctant that one time I unsuccessfully and really quite foolishly hid in my cupboard <laughs> to avoid going to class. So as you can see, teaching initially was really very hard for me. And uh, I was, you know, I was having a lot of trouble kind of regulating my inner world. I was, you know, up and down and whoa, right? And, and there was all this sort of trauma in my body that was starting to come out. And then... So I'd been doing this for a while and then one day, quite unexpected, we had a guest at the ashram and they stayed on and on and on and, um, and it was getting closer and closer to Devi Ma's yoga class. 
you know, and she's hanging out with the guest and she has to be there. And I start thinking, oh, God, I'm going to have to teach the class. I can't teach the class. Oh, my God. Right? And I'm, then I'm like, no, no, don't be ridiculous. And then a second later, she turns to me and she goes, go and teach yoga. I'm like, no, no, I can't do that. I'm not ready. I haven't prepared enough, you know. But, you know, I say yes. And even though I'm really, really afraid, I do it. And I do it because Davy Ma had faith in me. You know, gosh, I feel really emotional. I figured that if she believed... <laughs> right. I figured that if she believed that I could do it, then I could do it. And you know what? I was able to do it. <laughs> You know, and I think my voice shook and I spoke too quietly and it wasn't perfect, but I felt really good afterwards and the class was really happy. And it was like, wow, you know, suddenly all these possibilities had opened up to me. But the moment when I really felt like I became a yoga teacher was on this kind of wintry evening. I was on my way to teach a class at the gym and, you know, I didn't really want to go. It was wet, it was cold. I wanted to have a cup of tea and read a detective story in bed and, you know. So I'm on my way out of the ashram and Swamiji came out of his room and he sees me. He asks me where I'm going and I say, I'm off to the gym to teach yoga and he looks into my eye and he goes, you're a yoga acharya and a yoga teacher, right? And then he smiled and just said, you know, be on your way. I'm so emotional tonight, <laughs> this is bizarre. And something really magic happened for me in that moment. I felt, like, I felt like I got the blessings of the lineage somehow. And I got like the yoga knowledge from the sages. It's like my, my brain opened to some kind of channel and like it just all came in. So... So that's my little story about how I became a yoga teacher. <laughs> so thank you, Swamiji and Davy Ma, for seeing past my reluctance and having faith in me. Tonight